So after just having witnessed abandonment from his father and being disgraced by his own family and his own people, as Ibrahim السلام, is on his way out, he calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says, Rabbi habli min as Oh Allah, grant me righteous offspring. So it's really amazing that he had just lost the connection to his own parents. And in that moment, he's asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be a parent himself and to have the companionship of a child that would be from the righteous. Now, it's really important to understand where this dua comes from. Number one, the fact that Ibrahim is acknowledging in those moments as well, that I'm looking for the honor of the hereafter when there will be no benefits that comes from having children or having wealth, except for the one that comes with a sound heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's important to understand that Ibrahim is more concerned with the succession of generations that would uphold the monotheism that he came with than he is with simply having offspring himself. And this is why we see when Zakariya calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Wa inni khiftu al-mawali, and one qira'a, inni khaffatu al-mawali, that I'm worried about the lack of people that will continue on with this message. I don't find inheritors of this message amongst my people. And that's why Zakariya chooses to call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to ask him for a child. Fahabali min ladunka waliya, to give me a child that would inherit this message, not simply give me companionship, but inherit this message and carry forth this message for your glory. It's very similar to when the Prophet is in Ta'if and he just witnessed that humiliation. What was the Prophet reasoning? for not having those people destroyed beyond the mercy that the Prophet ﷺ extended towards those people. His hope والسلام, after Ta'if was in the children of Ta'if, that maybe there will be a generation amongst them that say La ilaha illallah. Maybe there will be people that come amongst them that say La ilaha illallah. So it's important to understand Ibrahim ﷺ is already oriented towards the hereafter and is affirming on that day, children nor wealth will avail a person. But there's something else with Ibrahim Islam. One of his nicknames is Abu Al-Anbiya. He's the father of the prophets. And when the Prophet Sallallahu named his own son Ibrahim, he said, I named him after my father Ibrahim. So Ibrahim Islam is the father of the prophets and that after him, all the prophets come from his nations, alayhi salatu was salam. That's why we find when Allah describes Ibrahim Islam that he was an ummah, he was a nation. One interpretation of him being described as an ummah himself is that the good that emanates from that one person is the good that an entire nation would be able to put forth. Just from Ibrahim Islam himself and some of the scholars, they said he's an ummah and that all the nations come from this ummah, this nation of Ibrahim salam after him والسلام, even in those moments where he thought that he might not even have anyone to succeed him. Look what happens instead, right? Children and grandchildren, prophets after prophets, ending with the Prophet وسلم, and an entire legacy of people that cling to his remembrance. But there is that element of companionship as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا يَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ وَهَبْنَا لَهُ إِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ وَكُلًّا جَعَلْنَا نَبِيًّا that when he left them and that which they were worshiping beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we gave him Isaac and Jacob and we made them into prophets. Notice Allah did not mention Ismail, even though Ismail alayhi salam was older than Ishaq by 13 years, according to some narrations, Allah did not mention him. And in fact, Allah mentioned the grandson, Jacob, the grandson, Ya'qub. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to say, and we made them into prophets, وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِنَا And we gave them mercy, a special mercy, the same mercy that Allah would give to Yahya towards his father, Zakaria. We gave them a special type of mercy. And we gave them لِسَانَ صِدْقٍ عَلِيَّ We gave them a high reputation amongst the people, which is something that Ibrahim asked as well. 
that people would remember him highly alayhi salam and look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to that. Some of the scholars say the fact that Ismail alayhi salam is omitted here was already a sign to Ibrahim that he would have to sacrifice him, that he wouldn't get to enjoy the companionship of Ismail alayhi salam in his life. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have a special plan for Ismail alayhi salam that would achieve the goal of Ibrahim's dua, just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have that also for his goal with Ishaq and the children of Ishaq alayhi salam.